Okay, so this is a, just a quick, uh, quick pattern for a uh, like a drawstring pouch, coin pouch, dice pouch, something like that. But this one has the the leaf that's gonna go over the the front flap. It has markings for that little hole right there. That is for a Sam Sam Brown button. And here's where the other piece will go. It'll attach in the front. Uh, there's the stitching marks here. And pertaining this this line is just for reference where to put this whole thing here. Okay, um, I've also put optional. You'll see um, optional uh, holes here. This hole, this you know, long hole here, long hole here. These are for um, belt. If you want to have this on your belt, then you can. There's a couple ways. You can have you can cut these out and the belt will run through, or if you want a belt loop, so here's um, holes for rivets, and here's the, the the strap that will fold, right? So you fold it, fold in half, and use those those holes right there, and this will be like a belt loop, so you can hang it from the belt loop here. Or with a some type of clasp to a D ring on your belt, if you have something like that. Um, so there's a couple options on how to use this, on how you want to hang it. Either again through a belt, or with a belt loop hanging from a belt. Um, I think I'm probably going to do the. Well, I'll do both. I'll do both just so you can see how that looks, and then with the, with the loop right here. Uh, and then again, there's the holes here for the drawstring that you're going to run through around and, and cinch up. Okay, so I'm going to get these cut out, punched out, and uh, it's fairly straightforward. So uh, I'll, I'll punch, I'll cut them all out, show you how they looks, and then I'll work on stitching them together. Okay, see you in a second. Okay, cool. So I got the the holes punched out, the circle punched out, this punched out. And the little the strap here, optional strap, of course. But I uh, just wanted to show you how this is looking. Got the holes. These are a quarter inch, but if you want to make them three sixteenths, if you want to use grommets or some eyelets or something like that, cool. Uh, and like I said, I got the the belt loop punched out and the rivets. Um, you'll notice that I did do some thread holes for the leaf. And that's because I like to put, I like to put some thread on this just to make it look like veins of the leaf. So that's what, uh, you know, lines here, there's guides. You can make as many holes as you want. Uh, but yeah, you're just, you're just, it's for decorative purposes, right? So that's what that's for. So I'm gonna go ahead and probably do the leaf first uh, and then stitch this to here using these these stitch holes right here all right see you in a minute okay so here it is finished all put together um, uh, with the the Sam Brown button or stud button uh, there and I'll show you a couple of images here with uh, with it hanging from a belt and using good the belt straps. Like I said, you can you do one or the other or both like I did here. So you can hang it from a, a belt. Um, it'll be an inch and a half, about an inch and a half, almost two inches uh, clearance there. And I'll show you that in just a second. But uh, yeah, I wanted to show you this and, and uh, open it up. Yeah, so nice little pouch for, uh, you know, dice bag, coin pouch, uh, or just, you know, aesthetics for, for your cosplay. Uh, it would look really nice. Uh, also, if you wanted to do different colors, uh, maybe, uh, I don't know, you dye it with some uh, veg tan and do this in reds, like a maple leaf or something, it would look pretty cool too. Okay, let me show you with the, uh, using a belt. Hold on. Okay, here's what it would look like if it were, if you're using this loop. 
hanging from a belt. This is one and a half inches. So like I said, you probably have, there's room enough for a two inch belt if you really want to, but you know, that's up to you. Or if you wanted to make it smaller, just make this, this uh, strap shorter. Um, okay, so yeah, doesn't look bad hanging down. Um, let's uh, look at it with the, through the belt straps on the back. And here it is um, with the going through the loops in the back. Just kind of let's just give you an idea of where it kind of where it sits because it's gonna be fairly centered. Um, let me show you the back side. So here's the back side of the with the, the, the going through the loops or the these holes here. Now these holes are made for one and a half inch belt. So because it's trying to do two inches. Um, get a little too big and I didn't like how it looked but one and a half inches is probably about standard so this is how it just go through by the other side uh, and that's how it would look so again it's all up to you on how you want it to uh, to use this you could even uh, hang this from a clasp if you want to put a clasp and hang from a d-ring on your belt there you have uh, that works too uh, the one thing I want to uh, show you, because I did the stitching, I had to put the hole for the Sam Brown button just, just to the right. Okay, and it's centered on the main panel, and the leaf kind of has a little bit of a curve to it, so that's why it kind of it, you know, it looks off center. Or if you don't want to do the stitching, you just do it just right down the middle, um, as long as you cut the leaf. Uh, you know, perfectly straight. So, that's that's uh, that's how it turned out. I think it came out pretty nice. If you have any questions, let me know. Uh, otherwise, uh, send me some pictures of how yours turned out. All right, thanks. And uh, if you have any questions, also join my Facebook page, and I can uh, respond to you faster there. Thanks. Bye.